morning, Tay students. I'm Alani. And I'm Bella. And this is Tiger, Tiger News. News. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. And I hope you guys heard about, wait, what's his name? Phil the Groundhog. <laughs> Phil actually decided that we're actually going to have early spring this year. So that's really nice. Hopefully his prediction's right. Anyways, now we pass it on to Carolyn with weather. And here is the weather and some exciting events for this week. First up, Groundhog Day was on Friday, and the groundhog did not see a shadow, which means spring is coming early. Then we have a slightly warmer but still cold and very sunny week, with a high of 55 and a low of 22. And Tuesday is the coldest day of the week, so make sure to dress warm and bring a jacket. Okay. And as this week goes on, the sun will start setting later every day at around 5 p.m. This means that the total daylight is increasing. Have a sunny week. Caroline. Thank you, Caroline, for the weather report. And now on to sports with Aya. Now, did you guys watch the... Psst, don't forget about the Celtics game. Jack, can you stop interrupting me? I was getting to that. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted, did you guys watch the Celtics game last night? They beat the Grizzlies 131 to 91 and giving them another win at the home court. Now, here's a question to think about for the rest of the week. Do you guys want the 49ers to win or the Chiefs, the underdogs or the reigning champs? Whoever will it be? Now, that's all I got for you guys today, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And this is I signing off. Ka ching. Thank you, Aya, for the information about sports. And Bella, who do you have for the Super Bowl? Um, personally, I think the Chiefs are going to win. Nah, it's going to be the 49ers for sure. <laughs> but forget about football. Have you heard that Usher's going to be the halftime performance? Going to do the halftime performance? Oh. <laughs> I haven't heard about him in a while, but... He's going to go crazy, to, trust me. On to upcoming events with Alyssa. That was not as good. What's up, guys? It's me, Elsa Machado, back again with another school news. But 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 banger This week at the Tenney, we have three after-school activities. Starting off with a spectacular National Junior Honor Society meeting today from 2 30 3:30. Next up today, there's also a ski club. Make sure you get bundled up. It's cold outside. Like why you walk on my life? Why you walk on my life? Also, this Thursday there's a yearbook meeting from three to four. Reminder, get your carnations and watch our carnations video. It's pretty tough. <clears throat> They're due February 9th to those who keep on getting the day swamp. Also, here's a photo of our very own stock market game winner, Jackson Lovec. Speaking of photos, here's a couple photos from the academic bowl meeting last Wednesday. It was so fire. The eighth grade team got first place overall. The seventh grade team <laughs> didn't do so well. That's all the upcoming news, Tenny students. I'll see you again next week with another banger, obviously. Alyssa Machado, signing off. Capiche! Thank you, Alyssa, with upcoming events. And speaking of events, last night were the 66 Grammy Awards where some talented artists won Grammys. Artists like Taylor Swift and SZA. And speaking of Taylor Swift, she won her fourth Album of the Year award, making her the artist with the most Album of the Year awards. And... She's coming out with her new album on April 16th. Now on to Gabe with the hot topics in fashion. I'm Gabriel Oliver, and this week we're gonna talk about some fashion and hot topics. This week for fashion, we got a new look at the Kobe 6 Pro Chos Dodgers mm -hmm. collab. We also got a new look at the New Balances 9, 9060s at the color Cyan Burst. We also got a new look at the Buzz Lightyear and Woody Crocs coming out somewhat this year. That's it for fashion. Now let's move on to some hot topics. This week, Lewis Hamilton, the F1 driver, has come out saying that he will be leaving Mercedes and will be joining Ferrari. The PGA Tour has also secured $3 billion from a U.S. sports team owner, which was really weird, surprising to how much money they make from their tours. A rare 71-mile 2019 Porsche 911 Speedster services at auction with the highest bid being $330,000. And that's it for my segment. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Gabe, for the fashion and hot topic. Did you guys hear about those new Crocs that he mentioned? I'm actually excited about those. I'll probably buy those. Anyways, that's all for Spotlight, ten, or Tiny News. And if you want a shout-out, Here's my email down below. Be sure to email your grade, homeroom, and your name, and you can get a shout out from us. That's Anyways. it for today.